Hello, and please allow me to extend a thousand thank yous for checking out this quickfire invented tips and tricks video on how to create a sheet metal square to round 3D model and then flat pattern it. Right, before we get started, I assume you know a little bit about sheet metal. If you don't, please check out my other video on how to get started with sheet metal, which will show you how to set up your styles. Once you're okay with creating styles, go ahead and create a new sheet metal part file. Right, this is specifically targeted at one function only, the square to round type piece of metal. So to get going, what we're going to need to do is create a sketch. And just for just for clarity, I'm working on a 2 mil thick piece of aluminium here. We're going to start by creating a 2D sketch on one of the XY, well, the XY plane, not one of them, there is only one. And we're going to create a square profile. And this can be of any size that you wish. So I'm going to say this is going to be 500 mil by 500 mil. Okay, that's essentially the bottom of the square around. I now need to create the top, the circular profile that this is going to blend into. So in order to do that, we need to create a new work plane. So I'm going to start by creating a work plane by hitting this button here. And then it's just expanding the origin folder. Hover the cursor, just touch the XY plane so it's visible on screen. Hold the left mouse button down and then drag. Whee! And this is going to define the height of your sheet metal part. So it's the extent in which the circular end of the metal is going to be away. So let's say 1000. So it's going to be a meter. Right. We're then going to create a sketch on this work plane. And I'm going to draw a circle, obviously, because it's just squared around. And this will be, say, 200 mil. Okay. Now, where you want this circle to be depends entirely on what it is you're designing. But I'm going to keep this fairly uniform and symmetrical, so I'm going to constrain the circle to the center point. And just so, just so I've got something a little bit more interesting, I'm not going to put it in the middle. I'm going to just tangent this circle to... Oh, I need to project that through, don't I? Can't use it unless I projected it through. I'm going to tangent this circle to this edge. Okay, right. There we've got our squared around profiles. In order to do a squared around, what you need to do is create a lofted flange. Select the first profile, then select the second profile, and the, whoa, look at that. So we've got two different outputs. We've got a die formed, and we have a press break profile, uh, well, output. Depending on which one you select, you're going to get a different end result, but I guess you're you're the guy who's designing this and is going to ultimately instruct someone to make it, so I suppose you're going to know which one you want. And then you press OK. And look at that! There is your sheet metal squared around. Right, I'm going to get rid of this work plane because it looks hideous. It's insulting my eye holes. Alright then, so how do we get it made? How do we get a flat pattern of this? Well, if you select create a flat pattern, it just goes blurg. It gives you a big fat Blurg in your face and it can't do it right so let's undo why can't it do it right well it can't do this they can't do the flat pattern because there's no break in the metal it's got nowhere to flatten out from so in order to do this in order to give it a reference to to let it flatten out we're going to utilize the rip command this is going to rip a gap in our metal and allow us to create the flat pattern so what we're going to do is select rip we're going to pick a face and, well, I guess it, it's entirely, it's it's circumstantial as to which face you pick, but I'm going to pick this one here. And then you're going to pick the point where the rip's going to start, which is going to be this point here. And we got a preview, a little red preview showing where it's going to create the rip. And then we go ahead and click OK. <sighs> Look at that. Isn't that just delicious? Then we can go create flat pattern. And there's our flat pattern of our squared around profile, which we've now got a folded model of and a flat pattern. And then just for just for clarity, I guess, when it comes across into the drawing environment, well, I can't create a drawing of it until I've saved it. Numpty, let's just put it on the desktop. And then we can create a base view of either the folded model or we can select the flat pattern. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Well, it needs some it needs some bend lines and stuff like that, but yeah, that, that would be for another video. I don't, want, I don't want to go into too much depth. I want this to be quick. And it is quick. And we've done it. So, thank you very much for checking this out. Hopefully, this did 
give you an idea on how to create a squared around sheet metal part and then how to flatten it out. If you found this useful, please press like on the video. Please comment down below if you've got something you want to express, if you want to tell me about your thoughts and feelings on what you've just seen. And please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out. The more people subscribe, the more I realize people are actually taking notice and find this content interesting. And it makes me want to make more videos. So thank you very much, guys. And until next time, doodle pip.